ご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning into this episode of Fight TV. We're taking you right now, live, to the Yukimati press conference. Here's John McKay. If I'm not mistaken, these clips are from the Champion Soul Tournament. Good Lord! That makes me cringe every time I see that. What a disgusting human being. He gets the victory, but it's not enough. And if you thought it was over there, wait till you see what happened at XGWL's Global Warning 2011.
Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Fight TV. This is Johnny Walters, and we're taking a little bit of a break from the press conference. We'll be back to it. There's still more announcing left to do. But right now, let's take you to some action as we await the entrance of the Iceman, Brad Harris. There he is. And there she is. I guess it's official. Colby Romano is indeed Brad Harris's new manager. Brad Harris looking to climb his way up the ladder to OJFWA success. He certainly is no stranger to success, having held a number of titles in other locations. However, it looks like this climb up the ladder is taking a little bit of a break so that he can get to the three from Tiger Miyazawa. So I wonder if Miyazawa is on his mind that will affect him with this match. Harris, throw it to the ropes. Nice work and run by his opponent. Only a two count. The inexperienced youngster. There it is, there's his inexperience there and Harris takes advantage. One thing you can say about Brad Harris is that he is certainly not inexperienced. Well, nice trip there, and an elbow. Harris attempting to position his uh, opponent center of the ring, but a nice heel kick. Wait a minute, what's this? Feet on the ropes. One, two, Tommy Thompson three. counts to three. Wami Amano is ecstatic. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think we just saw there the first hit of the influence of Wami Amano on Brian Harris. Wami Amano, of course, the one who polished off Eriko Hasegawa's training, making her into the incredible opponent that she is today. Power couple here. Brad Harris, victorious. We'll be back.僕にも来た。誰でも弾ける。マイバンド。音楽苦手のタイトル。返上。ワンバーガーフリーズ。アイスアホップ。アイスバーガー。アイスの入ったスメタイバーガー。モリナナアイスバーガー。モリナナのア
Caleb Dodd. Bingo wants Caleb Dodd. Clearly the most dominant presence in the entire champion soul tournament. Even going so far as being able to handily defeat Bingo One legend, Johnny Bingo. of that choke slam through the tables did to the back of our champion, Gigi Mocha. There's Brad Harris, looking like he's waiting for someone. Oh, good lord! Tiger Miyazawa from behind! Looks like they're in some sort of storage room. Someone call security here! A man is being attacked! Just because someone is a pro wrestler doesn't mean he could just get attacked outside of a match. Is anyone listening? Call security. Am I the only one seeing this? Call security. Somebody. Oh, good Lord. God! Right to the small of the back with the ladder to the back of the head! This could cause permanent injury! Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, we just saw a human being being attacked with a steel ladder. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try to have my mind focused on what's happening right now. But I really hope, I really hope someone is calling security. Now, ladies and gentlemen, try to change the mood a little bit here. Shichin! Gentlemen, as we've mentioned in past Fight TVs, 
Xi Jinping's opponent here has been on a bit of a losing streak for quite some time. And it may have hampered her goal to compete for the Women's Championship. However, next Fight TV, she has a chance. And this may be her final chance to get her shot at this championship if she doesn't pull her act together and start winning some matches here. Well, regardless of the losing streak, she is one of my favorites. She is the ever-exciting Yubar. Yubari, she sing. I'm expecting an excellent matchup here. All right, Tommy Thompson starts the matchup. Shishing wastes no time, grabbing the arm, kicking the arm, and kicking her leg. Oh, it kicks the leg, well, out of her leg. Misses that drop kick, and runs after Yubari, and Yubari able to, her experience there, telling her to do that hip toss. Yubari, on the attack, hammer throw, but it's reversed by Shink. Shink with the leapfrog, and Shink, ah, God! What a knee to the face by Shi Shink! And if that's not enough, followed up by a vicious drop kick. Yubari's losing streak can certainly continue with this competitor. Yubari, attacking the arm. She does like to go for that arm, but I really think that Yubari would be better off going for the leg. Link wishes the camel clutch. Yubari takes the arm. And a nice clothesline, taking Ching down. However, Ching, that nice kick to the gut. And wailing away on Yubari with those strikes. Going for right for that Dragon Sleeper. That seems to be a favorite move of both her and Amy Chen. Both Xi Xing and Amy Chen come to Japan via Hong Kong. Looks like they're trading strikes here. Yubari, what's she gonna do here? Or it looks like Xing is struggling out and she succeeds and it's a nice neck breaker. Yubari, it will get behind the shank. Tosses her down. Shank with a dragon screw of her own. However, Yubari not letting her maintain that momentum. Lots of back and forth, lots of counters. And wait a minute, there we go. Now personally, I think that's a smart move on the part of Yubari. The majority of Shing's attacks come from her legs. And if Yubari can, uh, can sort of neutralize those legs, those painful kicks, then she has a shot. I wonder if she can hear me out there. Yubari going for that spinning toe hold. A move she does not use very often. You got shades of the funks there, and whoa! Shink, counting with a pin of her own. Only two count. Shink, nice kick to the back of the leg there. Another to the gut. Colorable tie up. Yubari with a knee to the gut. Oh, what a spinning heel kick on the part of Shi Shink. And a drop kick. Grazes Yubari, and Yubari able to take advantage with that bulldog. Shing back on the attack. Kicking Yubari to the outside. Now it looks like the former stunt woman Shi Shing has been tossed back into the ring. 
Yubari positioning her opponent here. Oh, what a nice forearm on the part of Yubari. Shane trying to roll out of the way, but Yubari was ready for it. And she was ready for that kick as well. Well, Shane is not out of this yet. And neither is Yubari. Yubari tossing Shane down, but missing with a kick of her own. However, still maintaining control until now. What a nice judo move on the part of Xi Jinping. And wait a minute, what's this? What's this? Good God! What a kick to the back of the head! That could cause permanent damage! Yubari's still in this though, but I don't know. Oh! With all those kicks to the face and the head, I don't know how, how, pres how much presence of mind she must have right now. Xi Xing knocks to the outside. Colorable tie up. Xing able to struggle out of it. Xing tossing Yubari back into the ring. They both want to end this by pinfall. Or at the very least, submission. Oh, God! Shing jumping off Yubari's knee and smacking Yubari dead straight in the face with her leg. Yubari with nice arm drag. However, I wonder if Yubari has enough presence of mind there still with all those kicks to the head to remember to keep the attack to the legs. Shing sent to the ropes and up. Whoa! Beautiful release German suplex on the part of Yubari. Yubari again, taking that, that leg, going for the spinning toho. And what's this? I think it, I think I could see Shing's eyes rolling to the back of her head. Is, is this, is this what I think it is? She, yes, she's, she's passed out. Shing has passed out due to the pain. One, Tommy Thompson, one, two, two and three. three. Yubari with the victory. The losing streak is over. Yubari is your winner here. And she is clearly ecstatic. If she lost here, it would not have bode well for her chances. Next Fight TV in getting her shot at her best friend's World Women's Championship. However, it looks like Yubari will indeed be going to next episode of Fight TV with great momentum. And as we were saying, next time on Fight TV, as announced by Hikawa-san, the big four women steel cage match for the number one contendership. You won't want to miss this one. Ronald Ponsato, take your left